I'm Jean Cabongo. I'm an associate professor in the College of Business. I teach management classes. Uh, right now, I am being focusing on teaching our capstone at the undergrad level, which is the strategic management uh, decision making class. I teach that at the undergrad level. I also teach in our MBA program. Uh, I teach international management, um, leadership and management concepts. Uh, in the past, I have also taught uh, other management related courses such as entrepreneurship and organizational behavior. After my PhD, actually I started teaching when I was in ABD. Uh, that means all but dissertation. Uh, I was writing my dissertation and I got a job offer here in the United States. I studied in Virginia at a small college called Virginia State University. I taught there for two years and then when I defended my dissertation, I moved to Pennsylvania. I taught at uh, Millersville University for four years. And after that, I moved here to USF Sarasota Manatee in the fall of 2010. Right now, my research focuses on, well, first of all, it, it is grounded on um, methods and theories found in the areas of environmental sustainability and entrepreneurship with applications to uh, competitive business environment and new venture creation. So basically my scholarship falls into three main themes. One being the use of industrial wastes as raw materials and their implications for firm performance. So there I, I am interested in uh, what, uh, what kind of performance, both environmental and financial, companies that use waste as raw material are trying to, to get. What are some of the challenges they are facing? Uh, what are some of the models, uh, business models in that kind of activities? So that's where my focus is right now. And the second theme is um, uh, local entrepreneurship behavior and local knowledge as drivers of entrepreneurship. I'm trying to understand based on different environments and circumstances how a local community can rely on entrepreneurship to emphasize its economic development. For instance, right now I'm very interested in studying in our area in Sarasota Manatee, uh, what is called silver entrepreneurship. And that is the creation of businesses by seniors aged 55 and plus. Because this is one of the characteristics of our area. So I'm trying to understand why seniors are creating businesses, what are the motivations, um, what are, how they measure success. Are they there, are there different from younger entrepreneurs? Uh, so all of these aspects will help us understand better and maybe try to help them better during the process of creating uh, businesses. And the third theme is entrepreneurship education. I'm trying to analyze, understand the link between entrepreneurship education and economic development. So is it really uh, worth teaching entrepreneurship? And what will be the consequences, the implication of teaching entrepreneurship for the overall economic development of a region like ours? I believe that uh, as an educational institution, we have uh, to combine theory, practice, and education. So I see that a, 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 as a nice combination being an educational institution. So what I have trying to do uh, using my entrepreneurship class is to have my student experience that link between theory, 
practice and education. And also, I have trying to um, experience and trying to measure the link between entrepreneurship as a driver of economic development. So when I came here, I found that uh, our campus is very, very involved in our local community. And I was trying to uh, push a little bit that connection further. So I used my entrepreneurship class as a vehicle to uh, emphasize and build stronger relations with our community. So when I taught that class, uh, I asked my student to go to our, one of the local communities here, uh, Newtown, and try to analyze. And this goes back into what I talked about in terms of uh, local entrepreneurship behavior and local knowledge as drivers of entrepreneurship. I think a couple of factors uh, make U.S. self sort of amenity, uh, from my perspective, a better place uh, to work. Uh, first of all, uh, the, we have a small and growing campus that provides high quality education to students in our area, which is really very, very attractive to me. And being a small campus, providing that kind of uh, education, uh, it also helps uh, develop and build curricula and content. Uh, there is also an emphasis on research, uh, which also, to me, is very, very attractive. And by doing research, it contributes to the intellectual climate of our campus, and it also um, contributes to the academic reputation of our campus. So the combination, I would say the nice combination of emphasis on high quality education and research uh, all together make it very, very attractive to me. That's why I like being here.